problems at CPS for months, and we uncovered additional concerns about how at-risk children are treated. ABC 15's Navita Fergani spoke with a former CPS worker who says some caseworkers just aren't doing their job. That's right, Steve and Katie. This caseworker actually worked for Arizona CPS, but quit because she was so frustrated with the system. And in my exclusive interview with her, she goes into great detail about how some caseworkers use shortcuts and others abused power during their investigation. It's the agency responsible for protecting Arizona's children. The mission of the government, I think, it is to keep kids safe. But one former CPS caseworker who asked us to hide her identity says Arizona's system is broken. When you worked for CPS, did you feel that children slipped through the cracks? Absolutely. This former worker blames mistakes on a lack of accountability. And during her time with CPS, she says she was shocked at the confessions her colleagues would make. Drive-bys are when you literally drive by the house. You don't actually stop and you don't do what's called due diligence. There were a couple of workers that would say, do you actually go out and knock at the door? And I'm like, yeah, um, well, I do drive-bys. And I'm like, what is a drive-by? Oh, I just drive down the street. You don't knock? No. I've just driven down the street. It's nothing. You know, this report is really nothing. She recalls one situation where she claims a child under state custody died from natural causes and the caseworker didn't know anything about it. He didn't know the sex of the kid and, um, he didn't know that the kid had passed away. But CPS Child Welfare Program Administrator Deborah Harper disagreed with those claims in an April interview. But do you feel that cases slip through the cracks? From my perspective, I don't see that. We've also uncovered court paperwork supporting the claims of some parents who say caseworkers abuse their power. We found court documents of an open case where a judge goes on the record claiming a caseworker made up her mind to take away the children because she didn't like that the parents didn't react quickly enough during the initial visit. He accuses the caseworker of, quote, getting ticked off, unquote, and the judge believes that's why the children were taken away. And this former CPS employee tells me that's not an isolated incident. They know that they have the power. People who have some perceived power, when you have the ability to do those things and somebody pisses you off, yeah, it can happen. Should it happen? Absolutely not. But DES Director Clarence Carter tells me in a past interview that abuse of power doesn't exist within his agency. Is there a generic issue with caseworkers bullying? There is not. And that former employee that we talked to, while she did say that there are some caseworkers that abuse the system, she did want to point out that there are others that truly care about the kids and practice due diligence. I currently have an ongoing request with DES trying to get the exact numbers of just how many caseworkers have neglected their investigations. And Katie and Steve, as soon as we get that, I'll keep you updated. Yeah, we'll be waiting for it. Thanks, Navita.